Every time I turn around, you disappear. Welcome back to my kitchen. It's raining, so if you hear like trickles, I'm not peeing. Weirdo. As you might know, there's a show called Friends. One of my favorite episodes was the one where Rachel made the trifle on Thanksgiving. So, I'm gonna be making the trifle on two days before Thanksgiving. Oh, it's a puppy. It is so sweet. Oh, I love puppies. So I drew on an apron that's supposed to look like hers. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? If you haven't seen the episode, she makes an English trifle, which is like a dessert for Thanksgiving, and she accidentally mixes it with another recipe for shepherd's pie. She made half an English trifle and half a shepherd's pie. <laughs> so it's not gonna taste good. All right, so I didn't really know how to make any of this so I'm gonna be following the binging with babish um, tutorials whoa looks like there's been some a windstorm through here got some leaves let's start by making our homemade custard we're gonna place three and a half cups of whole milk into a medium saucepan then in an auxiliary bowl we're auxiliary bowl that's when you know you're a chef is when you say auxiliary bowl we got this we've got this this which I made from scratch. Come on, Rach, help us out here early. Why didn't you buy some custard? Oh. You said whole milk. This is two percent because we're health queens. It stresses me out when cooks are like, "Well, I'll put about a around a half a cup, maybe a little more. I don't know. Like, let's just throw it in." I'm like, "Just give me the measurements. Give me the measurements." We need an auxiliary bowl for our auxiliary activities. We're going to combine one cup of sugar, half cup of cornstarch, and a good pinch of kosher salt. Cornstarch. Okay, a pinch of kosher salt. I had to buy some kosher salt because I, I don't know the difference. What is regular salt then if it's not real? Alright, so we'll put a pinch. That was probably not worth buying an entire thing of kosher salt for a pinch. We're like 800 people at Walmart, and I'm like, what are y'all doing? Getting ready for Thanksgiving? I could never. I'm getting ready to make a trifle for my sick YouTube vid. We're gonna whisk that to combine before adding five whole egg yolks, scraping every last little bit in there and whisking to a pale paste. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Me too. Unless you said anything but dressing. You know how grandmas are always like, this was made with love. Now I know what they mean. They'll know. If it was made with anger, they'll know. We're going to add about a cup, very slowly, to temper the mixture, temper our eggs, make sure that they don't cook, before adding the tempered egg mixture back to the milk. That's disgusting. He has a calming voice. I've been watching that baking show, um, that Christmas baking show, that Christmas baking show, like there aren't 500 different ones. There's one. There was one like challenge they had to do where they had to, they couldn't use like electric stirrers and that was like the whole challenge. And I was like, just kidding, but they had to make like 600 cupcakes. Some of those shows, if they don't make something good, they are bullies. It was awful, the texture's awful, the taste is awful, it looks awful, what happened? Whisking everything constantly, gotta keep whisking. I don't think it's supposed to look like creamed corn. I just want them to show the part where they're like. So it's kind of like working better now, but. His was like runny, runny. You saying bolt runny. Mine's just like me in seventh grade runny. I don't know what that was supposed to mean. It doesn't have a smell. All right. Oh, he's barking in his sleep. I'll cry right now. I will cry. 
Add a solid dollop of vanilla paste, cook gently over medium low heat until thickened, and finish with maybe three or four tablespoons of butter. Okay, sure. You know what the best part of Thanksgiving is? Black Friday. They should just call it Black Thursday at this point. <laughs> Cause you know, it like starts so early. Like it literally starts at like 3 p.m. Parade just ended, calm down. It's finally thickened, me after doing two squats. Custard, which I made from scratch. Now I can say that. That's hot. Oh, look at that custard, you can't see it. It doesn't smell sweet, it smells buttery, which is kind of concerning. Just remember, all we've made is the custard so far. <laughs> like we get it, you made it from scratch. Mm. Custard, check. We're gonna start by sauteing, as Rachel described, some onions, just letting these sweat a little bit. We've already sweated, brother. I'd give you measurements for all this stuff, but I'd hope that you're not gonna try this in real life. Yeah, I'd hope not. Okay, I just got a text for a Black Friday sale happening today. It's Tuesday. Oh, I didn't dice onions! Oh! Should have asked my mom to do this. <sighs> my heart stopped. If I have this apple slicer. No. Okay. That's okay. This isn't Fruit Ninja Madison. Okay, so we've got diced onions. Is it possible to get carpal tunnel from this? Because I think I just did. Once the beef is browned, add the onions back to the party and a whole bunch of frozen English peas. Peas? A little bit of this on here. I'm gonna try to act professional from now on. Diced onions. <laughs> Ow! Ow! I was not overreacting. Gotcha! <laughs> that was easy. trying max aren't we oh, he makes it look so easy probably because he's a professional chef so try new things y'all get new scars now i'm gonna put the ground beef on there me and the onions are both sweating guys are always like yeah i've been pumping iron like i'm so strong try doing this try it you will use muscles you have never used before like i didn't know i had a thumb muscle but I feel it burning. If like the government wants to learn like new torture methods, like someone cook that doesn't want to cook. We like cooking enough to like do this and not be too stressed out. But people that just hate cooking, make them make Rachel's trifle and just watch them break down. Watch them let you in on all of the secrets you need to know. Just a good old pea pie. Cook until heated through, and then we're gonna try to make the most basic of shepherd's pie filling by adding a few tablespoons of flour, and then slowly adding a bunch of beef stock until a thick gravy is formed. Oh, after this you're gonna layer it! Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to make this is already open, and I just bought it. There's an inner seal, and it's open. Here we go. Alrighty. And it's time to start assembling our trifle. Let's start with a layer of lady fingers. It's time to layer it! So we have this, so we can see all the beautiful layers, or as Rachel says, beautiful. Can you see me? Can you... Can you see me? <laughs> and it's time to start assembling our trifle. Let's I had to go to Publix, the fancy store, to find lady fingers. Um, and this was the only pack they had. Oh, they smell like lemon. Simply elegant dessert. Oh, it looks like little hoagies. It's a layer of jam. I just got strawberry smuckers jam. Why well, you know you smell that smuckers? Only suckers don't get smuckers. <laughs> we got a real jam going down. Welcome to the space jam. Custard, which, by the way, we made from scratch. Custard, which we made from scratch. Okay. Looking pretty iconic. 
then a layer of fresh raspberries. This trifle is starting to look promising. I'm really upset that I forgot about the raspberries. I have frozen strawberries. A layer of frozen strawberries. I'm sorry. I like strawberries better than raspberries anyway. See, it still looks pretty good. Another layer of lady fingers. This is going to act as a buffer from the, all the moisture of our ground beef mixture. Lady fingers smell good. I'm gonna taste the lady finger. Tastes like lemon bread. Sticky lemon bread. Spread it on evenly, making sure to leave a little room at the top for another layer of creme pat. Now we're gonna put this on it. <laughs> Here's the next layer. Oh, it went down in the... Smooth it out and then top with a layer of sliced bananas. Get that custard on there. This is gonna be good. Now we have a layer of custard, which I made from scratch. I can slice a good banana. Aww. Doesn't that just look lovely? It's done. Uh, trying to keep it down, trying to swallow it, trying to chew it. I uh, can't do it. Had to spit it out. Does it taste like feet? No, but it tastes like ground beef, custard, and bananas, so it's absolutely disgusting. We couldn't eat it. If he can't eat it, I won't be able to eat it because I'm sure he's eating all kinds of stuff. I'm going to try to get in the mentality of Joey and how he liked it. I like it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, let's get every layer. I don't want it. Okay, make sure to get every layer. get some more beef just to spruce it up get out of overreacting youtuber mode get into joey mode it's bad but it's like not that bad it tastes like feet no come on ross <laughs> it tastes like feet okay i got more meat in that one that What's not to like? Custard, good. Jam, good. Beef, good. What's not to like? Custard, good. Jam, good. Meat, good. It's like the custard's not so sweet that it makes it so different from the beef that it kind of like goes together. Is that weird? I don't, am I just like too quirky. That Joey is mood. We stand, Joey. Thanks for watching and happy Thanksgiving. I hope whoever's cooking makes better food than this for you.